Well, homeless for the last few years, a local high schooler didn't always know where she was going to stay. But Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Rader tells us tonight that that did not stop Jillian Bundles from becoming Broad Ripple High School's valedictorian. This blue and white home with a white picket fence on New York Street has become a home away from home for Jillian Bundles. She's relied on the services it has provided her since she was in 10th grade, just before her mom left. I, my mind didn't process it for a while, okay. and then I was like, about a month ago, I'm like, oh wow, she's not going to probably come back. Where have you been living then since your mom left? Um, friends and family and friends. And she arrived at school early and stayed late, sometimes showering there. Even served as captain for her school's brain game team. This operating system. She loved Broad Ripple High School, and Broad Ripple High School loved her. She saw it as an opportunity, and it paid off. Her 4.19 GPA was good enough to be named school valedictorian. I feel like I had to do it so I could be able to be where I am right now. Like, I knew, like, school's probably a priority to me if I want to get somewhere in life. Jillian is homeless at this time, but she's going to go right on with her work. With a full scholarship to IUPUI to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. The Senior Academy scholarship she accepted on Friday will also help. But as a typical teen, her thoughts drift back to her mother. I was in contact with mom for a little while, but she stopped answering her phone. And I wrote her a letter like a couple weeks ago, and she hasn't replied to it yet. So I'm like, whatever. Kind of doing it on her own and having this like eye-opening moment to say, like, I'm the only one that I can rely on. And if I'm going to make this happen, like, I've got to do it for myself. And so that's kind of been her story. She looks like the typical high school graduate. She has the iPad she received from the medical internship, the donated laptop, the cell phone she saved up to buy. And she's wearing the glasses that help keep her life in focus that were donated from a day of giving. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Happy. <laughs> I don't I hope to be like an engineer. I might, be in, I might be in grad school or some kind of thing. I don't know. I like school a lot, so I'll take, see where that takes me. But I hope to be happy and healthy and, you know, pretty okay. Outreach helped her get to this point, but she's the one who paid the price for her 1996 Honda that was made a year before she was born. And now she's the one who can't wait to see where it will take her. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. And tomorrow, Outreach will hold a special celebration for Jillian and 22 other local young people who have overcome homelessness to get their high school diplomas or GEDs.